In this demo, we'll walk you through the key steps of setting up and using NXLog platform to collect, store, and visualize telemetry data. Once you have signed up for NXLog platform and deployed it on premise, simply open your web browser and navigate to your NXLog platform URL. After logging in into the NXLog platform instance with a default username and password, you will be directed to the home page. Here you can find helpful links and resources including instructions for downloading and installing NXLog agents, a step-by-step -step guide on setting up and connecting NXLog agents, official documentation, and support portals. On the left side, you will find the navigation menu, which provides options such as Agents. This is your command center for managing agents. You will find an overview of all of your agents, configuration templates, auto-enrollment rules, and more. Log search. Here, you can view the statistics about your incoming data and search your stored data. Dashboards, it's where you create and manage visualizations of your collected data. Log database management, here you can check the database health information and fine-tune settings like retention policies and access rules. My organization, here you will find everything related to your subscriptions, agent licenses, organization's contact details, and more and audit logs, which are basically an audit trail of user activity. We are ready now to implement our simple use case. We will begin by creating a configuration template, which will then be applied to an agent running on Windows during an auto-enrollment process. Then we will create a filter for the collected data and visualize it throughout a dashboard. To create a configuration template, go to Agents, Configurations Overview, and then press the Add New Template button. This takes us to the configuration builder. Here you can visualize your agent configuration's data flow and save it as a template. Let's give it a name. Windows Event Logs. Once we have done that, we need to add our input streams. Search for Event Logging and drag and drop the Windows 2008 Vista and later Event Logging box to the right and change the name to event log. Then, search for annex log and drag and drop the annex log agent internal logs box to the right and change the name to annex log. We have now added two input streams. Next, we need to define our destination. In this case, we'll send the data to the NXLog platform. Once we switch to view as configuration text, we can review all the settings in detail. Next, we will define a rule for automatic agent enrollment. This rule will ensure that any newly connected agent running on our Windows operating system is automatically assigned to the configuration template we just created. To create the auto-enrollment rule, go to Agents, Auto-enroll, and then press the Add Rule button. In the Selector field, type the expression that matches the host to auto-enroll. Enter a filter name to identify the rule, such as All Windows Hosts. Click Select Template to assign a template to the auto-enrolled agent and click Save. Now we will deploy an NXLog agent on a Windows 10 machine to connect to NXLog platform automatically. Once the installation package has been transferred to the machine, open a command prompt and execute the following command to install the package in headless or quiet mode. You will need to specify the parameters for the NXLog Platform Agent Management hostname and port. Once the installation is complete, the agent will establish a connection to the NXLog Platform. Since we have configured a rule for automatic agent enrollment, the agent will be enrolled and a template will be applied simultaneously. At this stage, the agent is already collecting events and sending them to the NXLog Platform. 
As shown here, the agent is listed online and also has the configuration applied. To verify that the agent is collecting and sending events to the NXLog platform, select the agent and navigate to the Statistics tab. With the agent successfully sending data to the NXLog platform, we will now create a filter to show only data from this specific agent. To create a filter, go to Log Search, click over the plus button below the search field and select Add Filter. Provide a name for the filter, select Hostname for the field name, equal to Hostname value, select the Share with my organization in case anyone else would like to collaborate on this filter and click Save and Apply. We're now viewing events collected from this agent. To confirm this, we can show the hostname field from the table columns and filter by log type if needed. We will also save this search to be used in the dashboard that we will implement in the next step. Finally, we will set up a dashboard to visualize the collected data, making it easier to monitor the agent activity. To create a dashboard, go to Dashboards and then click over the plus button on the top right corner. While there's an extensive list of widgets available for selection, we will focus on using a few to demonstrate how this process works. Use drag and drop to organize the widgets to your preference. Click and drag the lower right corner of a widget to resize it. When you are ready, click the Save button, enter a dashboard name, optional description, choose your dashboard's default settings, and click Save to create your new dashboard. We have reached the end of the demonstration. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.